Educational Reform K-12 Curriculum. Hello there learners! Today, we will going to discuss the K-12 Curriculum. Do you have any idea about this? Reserve your ideas and listen to our explanation. So what do you think is the meaning of educational reform? Educational reform is the term for the goal of changing public education in terms of educational theory and practice. It may try to address inequities including those pertaining to poverty, gender, and class. Quality education is viewed as any country's pillar of success. Restructuring the Philippines' basic education system through K-12 program is tough, but a strategic move by the government to ensure that it produces competent graduates who can serve as a backbone for a highly skilled and employable workforce. The K-12 program was implemented in 2012 by the Department of Education or DepEd. It has replaced the 10-year basic education curriculum, which consists of 6 years in grade school and 4 years in high school that concentrated on the English language and Filipino, sciences, arithmetic, and mathematics, and the social sciences. Do you have any idea on what is the meaning of K-12? K-12 Basic Education Curriculum covers kindergarten and 12 years of basic education, which means 6 years of primary education, 4 years of junior high school, and 2 years of senior high school. It provides sufficient time for mastery of concept and skills to develop lifelong learners which prepare graduates for tertiary education, middle-level skills, employment, and entrepreneurship. The K-12 Philippine Basic Education Curriculum Framework And now, if you can see on the screen, K-12 curriculum built on previous reform initiatives. So, before the implementation of K-12 curriculum, our Department of Education here in the Philippines are continuously renovating or innovating our curriculum. Of course, for the development of our learners, we have here the K-12 Philippine Basic Education Curriculum Framework. If you can see, the curriculum is very contextual. One of the aims of the K-12 curriculum implementation is to address the national and global needs, strategies to reduce poverty, inconsistent with the ASEAN 2015, and a way to enhance and develop the learners in general. Philosophical Basis of K-12 Curriculum Constructivism K-12 uses the spiral progression as the learning process. More and more details are introduced. The concepts are taught early than were taught in succeeding years with increased sophistication and complexity. Learners continuously reflect on their experiences while developing the needed abilities and skills to achieve this kind of learning. Constructivism encourages different activities where students can reflect, discuss with their teacher, or with their peers their outcomes, understand it, then learn it. Progressivism Students are to experience the world. It is therefore active and not passive in nature. Since our curriculum aims to develop learners who are armed with sufficient competencies which could be achieved by actively applying and utilizing in the real world, actively tasking ideas are concept learned. Progressivism is applied in our current curriculum because students are to experience the world. It is therefore active and not passive in nature. Progressivists believe that education should focus on the whole child, neither a content to be taught, nor the teacher. The learner is a province solver and thinker who make meaning through his or individual experience in the physical and cultural context. This is called of thought asserts the power of human beings to create, improve and reshift their environment with the aid of practical experimentation, scientific knowledge, or technology. Reconstructionism 
This synthesizes the addressing of social questions and a quest to create a better society. The goals of K-12 highlight social reform from 10-year basic education to a 12-year plan. With the advent of K-12 curriculum, the traditional understanding that a 10 years basic education is sufficient has been changed to improve human conditions. K-12 curriculum allows the student to experience and take social actions on real problems. Community-based learning and bringing the word into classroom are strategies used. Salient Features early childhood education. Every Filipino child now has access to early childhood education through universal kindergarten. At five years old, children start schooling and are given to slowly adjust to formal education. Research shows that children who underwent kindergarten have better completion rates than those who did not. Children who complete a standards-based kindergarten program are better prepared for primary education. Education for children in the early years lays the foundation for lifelong learning and for the total development of a child. The early years of a human being, from 0 to 6 years, are the most critical period when the brain grows to at least 60 to 70 percent of adult size. In kindergarten, students learn the alphabet, numbers, shapes, and colors through games, songs, and dances in their mother tongue. Making the curriculum relevant to learners, contextualization, and enhancement. Examples, activities, song, poems, stories, and illustrations are based on local culture history, and reality. This makes the lessons relevant to the learners and easy to understand. Ensuring integrated and seamless learning or spiral progression. Subjects are taught from the simplest concepts to more complicated concepts through grade levels in spiral progression. Proficiency language. Students are able to learn best through their first language, their mother tongue. Gearing up for the future, senior high school. Senior high school is two years of specialized upper secondary education, which students may choose a specialization based on aptitude, interest, and school capacity. The choice career of track will define the content of the subjects a student will take in grade 11 and 12. Senior high school subjects falls under either the core curriculum or specific tracks. Nurturing the holistically developed Filipino, college and livelihood readiness 21st century skills. After going through kindergarten, the enhanced elementary and junior high curriculum and a specialized senior high program, every K-12 graduate will be ready to go into different paths. May it be further education, employment, or entrepreneurship. Every graduate will be equipped with information media and technology skills, learning and innovation skills, effective communication skills, and life and career skills. K-12 tracks and strands. Academic track. The academic track is for those who have already and surely decided to pursue a college education after senior high school. Basically, it helps you in your journey going to college because of its subject specialization. Under this track, here are four strands you choose from. Humes or Humanities and Social Sciences. It is a strand for students who wish to go into college with the following courses. Political Science or International Studies. English or Filipino Literature. Mass Communication. 
education, performing arts, and other related courses. STEM or Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It is the strand for students who wish to go into college with the following courses, Biology, Physics, Mathematics, Engineering, Computer Studies, Information Technology, and so on and forth on the related courses. This strand is very hands-on types of experience that would be good for students who have firmly decided their future college course and profession. ABM or Accounting Business Management It is the strand for students who wish to go into college with the following courses Human Resource, Tourism, Hotel and Restaurant Management, Accounting, Business Studies, Marketing, Real Estate, Export Management, Entrepreneurship, and other related courses in this path this is definitely suggested this trend for those who have their eyes set in creating a business in the future of working business sector. Gas or the general academic trend. Now, if you have some uncertainty or confusion in your mind on what specific path you would want to take, the gas is the strand offered in this track. What makes this good is that the courses offered here are encompassing meaning all fields. TVL track or the technical vocational livelihood track. Subjects on this track focus on the practical knowledge and job ready training. If your goal is to work immediately or be eligible for certified jobs after senior high school, this track is perfect for you. Finishing any strand from this track gives you skills that are considered and accepted to qualify you for work. There are also four strands for this. Here are the four strands of TVL track. Agri-fishery arts. The skills taught here are those that can be used in the agriculture and aquaculture field. Examples of lessons to be learned are rubber production, food processing, and such. Home economics. It focuses on teaching new skills that can be useful in livelihood projects. Professions that can be considered after taking this strand are stylists, makeup artists, tour guides, barista, baker, etc. Industrial Arts When you want to know about carpentry, electrical repairs, driving and welding, the industrial arts strands offer a good curriculum. ICT or Information and Communication Technology Basically, if you are a tech and computer savvy, then you'd love this strand. Professions that can be considered after this strand are as a graphic designer, encoder, web developer and designer, call center agent, sales agent, and such. Arts and Design Track It provides students the know-how on the different arts and design forms, materials, media, and production in the creative industries. It is a good platform to express yourself. Concepts around the globe will be taught to you to make you more immersed and competitive in this field. If you think you would want to have a job in the art field, then this track is good for you. It has curriculum centered to enhance and encourage your creativity. Sports track. If you excel in sport, whatever it may be, then you will enjoy it here. You will be able to learn concept on positive attitude, teamwork, and competitiveness because this teaches you about how sports management and teamwork works in this type of setting. Curriculum Guide Kindergarten The Kindergarten Curriculum Framework or KCF draws from the goals of K-12 Philippine Basic Education Curriculum Framework and adapts the general principles of National Education Learning Framework or NELF. Grades 1 to 10 Students in grades 1 to 10 will experience an enhanced context piece and spiral progression learning curriculum. Senior high school grades 11 and 12 
The senior high school is two years of specialized upper secondary education. Students may choose a specialization based on aptitude, interest, and school capacity. The choice career track will define the content of the subjects a student will take in grades 11 and 12. Each student in senior high school can choose among the four tracks, academic track, TVL track, sports track, and arts and science track.